Hey friends, what is what you see here is my latest postcard haul and I purchased a lot of 2200 postcards. Perhaps you have seen the listing. I did not purchase it for what it costs and let me tell you why I decided to get it. All right, so this is a lot that I purchased. You probably saw it and you're thinking, why did I pick this one? And the reason is um, because I got it for a bit less than 600. Um, what I liked about it is, see, uh, in here there are some Western ones, and there were some real photo postcards. Right there is a cowboy, and um, with the woolly chaps, that's right up my alley. So what I did was I figured out how many of these did I think I could get ten dollars or more for that I can actually see, and it came out to um, enough that I thought, well you know, I could take a chance on this lot. The second thing about this lot that I liked was that the seller is not a postcard person. So I'll show you that. This is their shop. They only they have 136 items. And so most of this is lots of things. And so they don't really sell things individually. With $600, and that's a bit of a risk for me to take um, because it's just too high a price. So we actually negotiated it down, so I got them for under $0.20 cents a piece. So that was um, what really why I chose this. So the box arrived today, and they packaged it really well. I'm ne never really sure when it's post non-postcard sellers, but they do sell other things, all in plastic bags. And I sorted them out in one day. Now that I've done this a few times, I kind of know what I'm looking for. So what I have here is the first section here is, is what I'm going to put in my antique booth. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the over oversized ones in my booth or online. I'm not sure. And then I have it sorted out by the, the ones in categories that I think I can get $10 or more for. And then I have put aside some linens because there is somebody who wants my linens in good shape in certain categories. Um, and we're going to swap some postcards. So I've been saving some up for him. There were a lot of correspondence in here about this lady who did these postcard exchanges. So that's this back here. And then all the way up here are postcards that she, I know, were sent to her from somebody else, who, like postcard collectors. So we have things like, thanks for the card, um, and then the, here's, here's some cards. There's a lot of them who say, hey, I saw your name in this publication or something. I got your name from a card chain. But, you know, I'm just going to lot up whatever is not in the other categories into this one. And... So there, there's some interesting, I mean, there's some good ones in here. I think you can, somebody could still do well with these postcards. Just to give you an example of just a few of them out there. There's lots of capitals and stuff and views and, and things like that. So that, anyways, that's that lot. And then the last sections here. These are um, standard ones that I really don't want to list individually that didn't fit in the other categories. So I'm saving them up for a large lot box. I've got uh, a bunch of uh, things here that will be for bonus cards or scrap. That was one of the sad things is that they, there was, um, because this was not a postcard postcard person, I got a lot of different things. There was a lot of trimmed postcards and even some real photo postcards that were trimmed. Um, and they also had some basically scrap. So let me pull out the scrap pile here, show you. So what I mean by these are just scrap. I'm, I'm going to do a lot of scrap stuff. Um, just, yeah, like, you, you know, you wouldn't ever want to sell that. This is just a back. I, maybe I'll just throw that one in. But, I mean, here you can see there's a hole here. And just, like, see, these are just, like, I wouldn't sell that even in my booth because it's dirty. But maybe you could cut this guy out and do a craft with it or something. This was a real photo postcard. I don't know. Maybe I should just still sell that as a photo. Maybe I will because it's a neat subject. I have the last category is oops, this. And these are the ones that I want to list first, and I'll show you why. Okay, so here's what I got. Um, there's over 100 postcards here, and I here's the, the real photo postcards in the front. At least I haven't actually 
um, taken my loop to any of these, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scan them all in and I will look closer on my computer because sometimes it's just easier for me to do it that way. I showed you that in a video a little while back about how to tell once you scan them if they're real photo. And I find it a lot easier to just scan a whole bunch of postcards and then look them up after I scan them. Um, it's just the way my process works. And one of the suggestions about one day when I asked what should I do a video on and I said, and somebody said, well, what's your process? So I might be doing that um, when I have a little more time to think through and show you how I'm doing it now because it's different than it was a year ago, of course. Uh, you know, if you're not changing and improving and tweaking your business and, and uh, if you're just staying the same, you know, you, you might not be moving forward as much. Unless you have the, the, an excellent system that can never, that is just like so perfect, which is not me. Okay, this is a cool one. I'm not really sure if this is tragedy or just a bunch of junk. Or, oh, maybe it dera uh, derailed. This isn't a wheel. You guys are probably going, Julie, it's a train wreck. Yeah, did I mention it's 2 a.m.? Okay, there's my excuse. I couldn't get to sleep. It's just it's part of autoimmune issues. I just don't. I just sometimes I'm up till two and three in the morning, and I'm I don't know. I still don't sleep in as much as I should. But I am fortunate that I can sleep in mostly if I need to, and just adjust my schedule that way. And that's why it's kind of hard for. This is why I do this. It's because it's hard for me to hold a regular job because of all of the weird health things that pop up all the time. It's kind of cool one. This is a familiar bridge. Some of these ones are not like uh, rare, like the touristy ones, and um, maybe five to ten dollars for these. But this something like this might be good because it's a st old street view. And then, oh, this is just a real photo postcard of a piece of art. But I've sold them before, so uh, who knows? I don't know what this is about. Shrine or something, my guess. Some of these were trimmed, so I might just lot up the trimmed ones together. We'll see. I just kind of sad. Um, Haysta Haycock Mountain. I'll have to look up where where that is, or I could look at the back. Looks foreign. I have sold a similar one like this for around I think it was thirty thirty five or something. So that's why I say you know average ten because of things like that. Here's a nice one with a pool, country club, but it is trimmed so. If there aren't any other like it, then it's okay. But if there are tons of these, then I don't know. Sea lions, not a common thing. It's a pretty common thing, I should say. Um, some kind of sanctuary service. Just that's not. These are nothing special, but they're real photo postcards, so they get a little bit more than the average. And I like having a lot of real photo postcards. Sometimes these old nondescript views of things like this, like the lake. I had a bridge that went for, it was just a bridge, and it went, an old one, and it went for quite a good amount. Wind River Canyon, Wyoming, I love that area. So there's a couple of Wind River Canyons. I'll probably just put them together because it's not anything particularly rare. And they're, um, here's another one, Thermopolis. Um, here's Havana, Havana, Cuba. And the nice thing about this is it's made in the U.S. because it doesn't have the foreign um, wording on it. So, yeah, unless you want to correct me on that one. Here's a nice old street view of Mexico. Mexico does all right for me. Okay, here's another one where I think it's a Catholic service uh, because of the way they're dressed, the little lacy frocks and stuff. Um, and, like... A funeral? Is it a funeral or is it? I don't know. So if you have any idea, I would love some help with that one too. And here again, they thought they were being clever and they trimmed it and they trimmed around the word. At least they left the words. But now it's like just lot those three up together probably and just, you know, it's just the way it is. Yeah, that's why my, it takes my average down. <laughs> Another Mexico, but it might be okay because you have all the picture in here. It's just not the whole one. Acapulco. I haven't done Acapulco much before. Here's a colorized real photo. So what do you look for when you are looking 
at lots. Um, I've showed you kind of what I did in this one. I haven't, maybe we could go and I could put you on the computer and we could look through some lots on eBay and decide um, what you've been on or not. But you know, things have changed. Okay, so this is one of those where you stick your head through and you, know, you have the image. And they made a photo postcard out of it. It's kind of fun. So what I looked for a year ago is different than what I look for now. Um, this is a really nice one. I was really excited about this one. I'm not sure if it's going to be a good one or not, but it's, it's unique. What I looked for before was a lot of... I really liked the divided backs, undivided backs, the street views and stuff. And since, in the years since, I have mm, really gone with trying out different things. So this one's a really nice one. She's very pretty. She's got a pretty dress, gauzy here, or I don't know what you call the fabrics. I'm not, I'm not a fashionista, but she's got this wonderful big hat too. And there is writing on the back. This one I saw in the listing uh, photos and I was excited about this one and this one um, will be listed higher one so this one should do well too it's a nice colorized one and here is somebody to give their Christmas card as a real photo postcard kind of like we do photo postcards or photo cards for Christmas nowadays this is probably not worth much at all and then I pulled out a few other ones and okay I went through 2200 postcards today so don't judge me too hardly if, hard if you go like what in the world why did she pull that out I pulled these out because they were the same subject they were the Ripley's believe it or not at the um, uh, what is it New York World's Fair so I want to do research on them I think that's why I set them aside and oh, they go for anywhere between 5 and 12 maybe 15 depends on the subject so I mean that could you know, fit into my average of $10 a card this is a cool one. Um, we've got Easter with uh, flocked, you can see their flocked outfits on there. Anthropomorphic, pretty cool. Um, oh, this one um, looks like a postcard, but look at the back. So is this not a postcard then? Let me know. Have you seen this before? No. So let me know. Is this a postcard? We've got an ever um, voters meeting. We've got a couple tucks here. This one has got these upside down okay full confession here I did this whole thing before with you except you wouldn't know it because I forgot to push the record button <laughs> I did I tell you it was 2 a.m. um here is a world's fair Anheuser-Busch a folded pan panorama what do you call this do you call it fold folded folding panorama because you can't fit all those words in the title and get Anheuser-Busch and world's fair in there here is a, one of a tornado, and it is kind of in rough shape, but hopefully that tornado is rare. I like to put Yellowstone and West stuff up quickly. This is different than normal. Uh, we have a hospital for the feeble-minded. Here is a living picture of children um, in Hollywood, California on sunrise service. I'm assuming that's Easter, which is appropriate. Oh yeah, did you see this behind there? Okay, so I got really excited when I saw this. And remember my last issue with a Halloween postcard that I tore the corner off? Well, I didn't tear this corner off. It was already torn off for me. So this is probably going to end up as a $20, $25 postcard, probably. And then I wanted these listed first because of the holidays coming up with the summer starting. Patriotic. We've got a couple decoration day coming up. And here's the tuck. This one has a tear, so let's hope this isn't a common one. Um, another... Cook's, Cook's Exhibit World's Fair. I haven't seen this one before, and it's a private mailing. Of course, it's not really seen a lot if I haven't seen them before, because I, like I said, I've been doing this less than two years. Um, there's so many of you guys that are more experienced than me. That's why I'm hoping you'll help me. Advertising. And Washington's birthday. I want to put that up quickly. I haven't seen Washington's birthday before. Oh, Falstaff beer. I had a real photo postcard of Falstaff beer that went for $100. This probably won't get $100, but I'm hoping it will get, you know, 20 30 or something. Another of Memorial Day coming up. I just want to get those holidays that are coming up out quickly. And then these two are mine because they are spinning wheels. I have over 100 and keep in mind some of these were trimmed. And, and then I had some other ones too that I... I I don't know where I put them right now. So if I get on average a hundred or some ten dollars, it's about a 
then it's like a thousand dollars right here plus that other little stack i can't find right now which they're not really special they're just fast sellers that'll go for over time. do you want me to update you because i can try to keep track of the sales on this if you want me to to see when i break even on this let's do that okay i'll just concentrate on just working through this instead of my other ones that i'm working on and just get those listed and see see how long it takes to get that profitable so let's do that so thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you have a joyful day goodbye